Thank you. I am grateful that here tonight are our daughters, Leslie and Laura, and their families. Kate, Rhett, and Evan are the grandkids. Thank you, kids, for bringing the kids. <laughs> Also, Craig's brother and sister and their families are here, a few of my siblings and their families, many of Craig's friends and colleagues, thank you all for being here. Congratulations to the other class of 2021 inductees. I know that Craig would be very humbled to be included with you extraordinary people. I started the nomination process toward the end of 2019. I hesitated and almost gave up. I was struggling with the thought that Craig would not have wanted me to in, uh, nominate him for such a prestigious award. All of you family, friends, and colleagues know that he liked giving and receiving kudos for a job well done. I almost withdrew his nomination because he appreciated being uh, uh, recognized for accomplishment Yet I could hear him say, dear, this is not necessary. <laughs> These last few years of disease, discontent, and discourse have confirmed that now, more than ever, we need the example of all of the South Dakota Hall of Fame inductees. We need that resource because we need to know how they tapped into their courage and their commitment to overcome ob obstacles to their goals and accomplishments. I was convinced that Craig's journey could very well fit the mold of a Hall of Famer. The common thread within all of the career choices he made is apparent. He worked hard in all of those aspects of his life to provide a path choice to those who need guidance. He was a champion for those who seek a chance to make their lives better and in some cases, restart their lives completely. Craig welcomed challenges head on. He pondered information and all sides of an issue and used the problem solving skills he learned as an engineer to make good, solid decisions. Common descriptions I received are, he was a good listener, he provided sound advice, didn't seem to get irritated about or, or irritated about anything, which really flustered my girls. <laughs> Com he was compassionate and concerned about others' needs. Everyone he came into contact with was treated with respect, patience, and dignity. Craig had impeccable integrity. In December 2012, he received his doctoral in science degree from the School of Mines. He then addressed the graduates Craig wasn't just advising the young engineers, he was sharing his map to success with all of us, a plan that we all could ponder and utilize today. Paraphrasing a bit, here's the message he spoke. First of all, Craig believed in continued education, that the more you learn, more options are available to your success. You learn how to be a problem solver, work with others, Develop a good work ethic, great South Dakota values. Second of all, he encouraged the graduates to be adventurous, take calculated risks, do something different, something outside the box. Adventure with a purpose, accomplish something meaningful, make the world a better place. Use your adventure to make a difference. He went on to share the question he had asked himself as a young engineering student. Is it really possible to make a difference? His question was answered when the girls and I traveled with him to attend a reunion uh, celebration in Kericho, Kenya in 2009. Each of his former students were first generation in their families to be formally educated. They stood up one at a time and thanked Mualimu Craig for being their teacher, coach, and mentor. That's when he realized you can make a difference. You can make the world a better place. Excuse me. He was not finished. He was teaching all of us all along. He still had an agenda to continue to make a difference, to help people develop their own path to be the best they can be, 
to continue his series of adventures. Craig's induction into the South Dakota Hall of Fame provides all of us an opportunity to take up where he left off. So, motivated by encouragement from several people and their words of recommendation, I nominated Craig so that his life's journey and story could serve as a positive influence to be shared by all of us here and for future South Dakotans. Sorry. Thank you, Hall of Fame Board of Members or Board of Directors, for recognizing Craig as a champion for excellence. It's been said, heroes are not defined alone by muscles and courage. They must also have knowledge, public spirit, and exemplary lives. I leave you with the very special Swahili word. Kuheshi Miane. Respect one another. Thank you. <laughs>